So you're thinking about coming to Merida, but if you can't take the heat, stay out the kitchen. Uh, at least they were smart. They have solar, solar panels on the roof. As much as I love Merida, this right here make you wanna, you know, businesses that usually open at this time are not open because of the lights. So I walked to the local park and we're gonna charge the phone because they actually have power. So at this point, the lights have been off for about nine hours. It's been off since nine o'clock last night. Well, that evening goes to me. I want you to I'm laughing, but it ain't funny. Okay, last night the power went off, um, and I was out. I was without power for like nine hours as of now, probably ten hours now. And so y'all know the thing about Merida, baby, it's hot here. Okay, so I'm outside. Um, I don't have any power. But that means I have no cell phone because. Uh, it didn't charge last night. There's no Wi-Fi because of course you need the modem. Um, my food is probably gonna go bad. Um, no AC, no fan, no nada. So I'm out here charging my phone at the park right here. That's a little tip for y'all. Um, if you find yourself in this position, and I'm about to get all the sun because it's too hard. But apparently, this has been happening. This has been happening a lot in Merida. Um, one thing you need to consider if you're thinking about moving to another country or moving to Merida that sometimes the power go out, okay? And you gotta be prepared for that. Um, I advise anybody who is planning on building a house here to invest in solar. And if, you, if you're not, just invest in solar panels that can power at least a fan or something like that because you're gonna need it here. Um, I read online that the reason why that the power just keeps going out like this is probably because of like the over, it's been overheated here in the Yucatan, time and the power just keeps going out probably because people are using the air conditioning because i mean rightfully so it's hot here now one thing i do not appreciate is the amount of time that the lights have been off without any information of whenever it's going to be restored you don't know see in the states like in the usa um they got people out here still working like this man is still working businesses are still open but not all businesses are open and somebody looking at me right now but uh right now i'm at the park like i said i'm charging my phone you know you got free wi-fi over here and also free electricity in most public parks so that's what i'm pretty much doing right now like i i literally did not sleep well last night i was tossing and turning um cold showers helped me um get through the night to get a little bit of sleep my food is probably going to go bad i just have like fish that i'm concerned about everything else i don't really care about because that was the most expensive thing. I have a headache. I have a headache. Um, my head hurts. I probably should stay out of the sun, but I have to eat some type of way, right? But, like, it's different because, like, in the States, if this would have happened, let's say we had an electrical company in New Orleans called Energy. Energy would have updated you about when the power was going to be restored and um what happened and how many neighborhoods are affected now with cfe i'm not sure if this is true or not but i was not able to find anything online when i looked last night i don't know if it does exist but i didn't find anything like any information or articles about the power outages power outages like currently so all of my neighbors like left most of my neighbors have left they went somewhere i don't know and there's some businesses running like i said and some businesses are not running because they can't run without power. But most people are running. Most people are still out here working and things like that, so. So yep, I'm just out here for a little while. I'm probably gonna go to a hotel. I'm gonna let my phone charge fully. And I'm gonna probably go to the beach and probably get a hotel around there somewhere or just figure out what I'm gonna do because it's hot. I can't be in that hot house. I catch the bus. I don't know, do something. But just not stay inside. I have no idea how long the power is going to be out. So once my phone charges, I'll be able to communicate with people and see what's going on in their neighborhoods and figure out a plan from there. Um, as a single person, as a survivor, I'm I'm used to this happening in New Orleans, but at the same time, it's different because there's no updates that you don't know what the hell is going on. Like you just don't know, and that's something that you can, you need to gotta, gotta be prepared for if you're thinking about moving to Mexico. You know, power happens, the power shortage just happens, the power outage just happens. That's just how it is when you live in another country, you know. 
is just how it is. And apparently this has been happening a lot, a lot. But um, I advise anybody who's like planning on living in Merida. Well, honestly, y'all, this is the first time I had to deal with this. The first time I've had to deal with this. Now, I have people that I know that live on the outskirts of Merida, like the surrounding cities outside of Merida, that this happens to them all the time, like in Concord and Concept. And I'll leave the, the name of the neighborhood right there. Um, this happens to them all the time. <laughs> all the time. Now, this is my first time having to deal with this. First time. And I live in the inner city. I live in Merida. Like, and, yeah. The power has been out like 10 hours so far. And that's just what you got to deal with when you're thinking about moving abroad. You know? And uh, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if they're going to restore the power. I'm hot right now. As y'all see, I'm sweating. Um... You gotta take the heat. They say if you can't take the heat, don't don't stay out the kitchen. Because this is hot. This is really hot. I know for sure, I know for sure if I if I decide to build here in Merida, that I'm my house gotta have solar. I don't care how much it costs. Because what we're not gonna be doing is needing heat like this and not having internet power and having our food bag. We just not gonna do that. So yeah, I'm probably gonna get a hotel, y'all. Wait on my phone to try to just out here. There's some people out here. There's some people out here just like using but yeah this ever happens to you go to the park go to the hotels go to the malls and uh, they, they should have power there you know buy some ice drink some water take a cold shower um and you know keep a positive uh keep a positive mindset keep a positive attitude this happens in new orleans all the time especially during hurricane season and um so you just got to be patient. You have to be mindful that, you know, you're living in another country. So things tend to move a little slower and things are not as developed as they are, you know, in the USA. So you just got to be patient and, yeah, look for alternatives and have a backup plan. That's all you got to do, you know. So, yeah, I'm just going to let my phone charge up. And after that, try to maybe find something to eat and go still go. I'm still going to the beach, still carry on with my plans for the day. But definitely... I have to make alter my plans because of the light situation. Uh, yeah, I see some people out here looking at their phones, like charging their phones, and um, probably using the Wi-Fi, the free Wi-Fi that they have at most parks. So just in case you didn't know that, you can go to a public park and um, you can go to a public park, charge your phones, get some electricity, get some Wi-Fi if you gotta do some work. If you don't want to be outside, I would go to the coffee shop store. Little plazas. They usually have generators in places where you can charge. Like everywhere you go in Mexico, there's free Wi-Fi. It's free Wi-Fi. It's free electricity for the people, especially in the parks. Like, so, yeah. Like I said, there are people here charging their phones and using the Wi-Fi because the power is out. So at this point, I don't know how long the electricity is going to be out because if it's gonna be out for another nine hours, for sure I will be in a hotel somewhere. Okay, do y'all see that little black tank up there on the roof? If the electricity does not come on like today, that it will affect the water supply if there's not enough water in those tanks because the water well is powered electricianally and that's how you get more water in the tanks. So long term we just don't know hopefully the lights come back on like as we speak i hope they're on right now and then on top of that y'all know the houses are made out of cinder blocks bricks basically you're in an oven so if this does happen to you i advise y'all to just get outside the house because it's always the temperature is always lower outside than it is in the house hours later all right y'all 12 hours later we got some electricity the lights came on um i don't know if my food went bad or not but i don't really care at this point i'm going to take a shower and take a nap in some cold cold ac because 
maybe 12 hours without power Whew. so thank y'all so much for liking this video thanks for commenting and thanks for just like watching this whole video but other than that i'll see y'all in the next video Bye.